Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Now I was back in therapy this week and I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I had a break over Christmas from therapy, I think for three weeks and it was a chance for me to see if I could cope without therapy and how I would do with dealing with everything on my own and it didn't go well. I failed miserably. Sometimes I can cope when I miss a therapy session for whatever reason or therapy is cancelled for whatever reason and other times I can't and this Christmas holiday break I failed miserably. Everything went wrong and by the time I was back in therapy I was in desperate need of help. And I'm not going to lie, I was ashamed to go into that session and admit that I failed but I wasn't going to lie. When I went in and said that look, I couldn't do it, within the first few days I was just on a sinking ship. Everything piled on top, everything that I'd learned in therapy, every tips and tricks had gone out the window, everything just seemed bad and I was drowning and I needed help and there was no one there to ask for help. It seems such a simple thing and a normal thing to do, to manage your feelings by yourself. You see people do it all the time but I couldn't do it, I could not manage myself. I was drowning and I was not strong enough to save myself basically and I'm back in therapy now which is a relief and when you are back in therapy after having a break you do have that hard to open up sort of like you've been used to putting everything back in a box and dealing with it on your own and keeping yourself closed up so now I'm in therapy again it takes a while for the routine to sink back in again and for you to feel comfortable and open and feel like you can talk but I am glad I'm back because I need it and it just proves how much better it is to ask for help for me anyway is that I was really on a sinking ship and I was drowning fast and I couldn't save myself I couldn't I was heading somewhere dangerous and I needed someone to throw me a lifeline and offer to help me out now I'm back in therapy I feel a lot more comfortable in myself I feel more stable within myself and that I can do this. I am ready. I'm ready to be back in therapy to conquer some demons, some old demons, and hopefully learn new ways to get through this mental illness safely and survive it basically. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.